Okay. Yeah. All right. Hey. Hi, this is Logan and Jennifer from Lumberjack Tools and BurnStencil.com. Um, and we are going to today show you some of our burn stencils. Um, and you can enter to win some of them as well. So we're gonna go over a couple different things. I'm gonna jump behind the camera again. Yeah. And Logan is going to help us go over some of this information. Yeah, let's go, uh, we'll start. These are gonna be the stencils we'll use for demonstration today here by our workbench. But uh, let's, we'll take a look at what we have available for stock today that we can ship right out today. So while we go over here, for anybody watching, if you could just comment below um, where you're from. And then once we go through these stencils, just comment any of the stencils that you really like and you could win one of them. We're gonna pick a couple different people to win some of these stencils. So let me just jump back here quickly. This is our big stencil wall. Yep. Um, so we have that. We also have some down here and kind of over here. Um, and you'll just see, we'll go over these, what we have. So if you're just jumping on, make sure you're commenting where you're from. And then when you see any stencils that you like, um, just comment below and you could enter to be, to win some of these. So Logan's gonna just pull some of them out. Um, these are the six inch stencils right now that we're looking at. But, um... So that bear is one of our most popular ones. Um, up here we also have the deer, Ooh. the moose. Uh, we have a lot of rustic stencils. Comment below if you see any that you really like, and we are going to be giving away a few of them. Cabin. Um, here's an eagle. Oh, somebody's from Chippewa Falls. You're right in our backyard. Hey, thanks for joining. Let's um, let's see, what is this you one? A yeah. turkey. Turkey. We have some wolves. Right. More eagles. Eagle. This is an elk. And then another wolf. Yep. Comment below where you're from and any stencils that you see that you like, and we'll be giving some of these away. Yeah, these are our Western stencils. The cowboy boot. We do have some fish ones, uh, Raymond. We will go over those as well, for sure. Um, so there's a lot of different ones here. We have different themes. You can really view all of these on our website. Uh, it's easiest there because, like we said, we have so many. Anything from pets to farm animals to rustic. Uh, do you want to grab these fish ones and show? Bluegill? It's a, a brown trout, and a jumping bass. There we go. Right, and uh, then down here we have more, um, we have some stuff for weddings. A lot of people make signs with these. So we have letters, uh, symbols. These are our bigger stencils. Logan will just pull one of those out to show us. So these are nice because they're pre-made. You can obviously still make different uh, verbiage with these stencils because obviously there's different letters in there, but you can just burn this as is and it makes it really easy. Yeah. So we have, we'll burn a couple of these today too to show you exactly how it works. Um, if you're just jumping on, make sure you're commenting where you're from and then any stencils that you see that you really like because we'll be giving away some to a few lucky people. Um, Raymond is asking how much they are on cost. Right now on our website, they're on sale for $12.99. Uh, we do run sales periodically and it just depends on what size you're looking at as well. Uh, so we're gonna go over here super quick. These are some of our newer ones. We have uh, a squirrel. So we try to get some things that are available for spring or any seasons coming up. So these are some of our spring stencils that we have. Um, let's see here, what else? Oh, an ax, we have a tent, we have 
a bee. Bumblebee, yep. There's really a huge variety of stencils. Compass, sailboat, a ton of leaves. Um, let's see. There's a oh, here's butterfly. a butterfly. Yep. And then here's a longhorn, a Texas longhorn. Is anybody from Texas watching? Definitely comment below where you're from. And like I said, any stencils that you see that you like, because we will be pulling a few people from here to win. Yeah. There's a laurel wreath. Oh, we do have somebody from Texas. And then here are some of our, almost they're like Easter stencils or spring stencils. We have a bunny, we have a chick, and then we also have some eggs. So we are going to, oh, actually we'll just show you the minis yeah. too. <laughs> Sorry, we have so many. Um, so these are some of our minis. Uh, those are the Christmas ones, for example, but we do have minis of some of our rustic yeah, we've got that are super popular. And then we also have, I believe, some of the fish. Yep. So um, we're gonna go back over here and Logan's gonna show you exactly how we burn these, how it works, how fast it goes, and what you need to get started with them. Yeah, so <clears throat> what we recommend is to use a butane torch with our wood-burning stencils. A regular propane torch or map torch will be too hot and not have enough detail to burn properly, so we recommend butane. Um, you generally want a flat piece of wood. Um, if it's curved, the flame will go under the stencil and that will cause your image to be distorted. So you wanna make sure you have a flat piece of wood. Different woods are gonna burn at different rates. Um, we can show you that here in the demonstrations, but that requires a little adjustment depending on what you're burning. And, um, but the key thing is you just, you wanna make sure you have a flat, clean piece of wood if it's, if it's rough, like this two by four here, you're not gonna get a good burn. It's gonna, it's gonna produce an image that will be distorted and we'll show that here. And then you do need, we recommend having a screwdriver as well. Logan will yeah. show you exactly why with that. If you do have questions, make sure that you are commenting Thank below. You. We will answer for you. Um, but we're gonna just go through this process. Yeah, so I'm just gonna hold it down with the screwdriver as I go around, and that's gonna make sure the flame doesn't go under. So you can see here how quickly this burns. Um, oh, I burned it out. Oh, <laughs> and you might have seen there a little bit of a flame. Don't be afraid by that because it is part of the burning process. So it's not gonna catch anything on major fire. But as you can see, Logan is just going back and forth with a sweeping motion. You don't wanna have to go over the same area a million times, um, but it is pretty quick. So in order to get a even burn, you want to go over the entire thing back and forth or up and down, whichever you choose. So look how quickly that burned. I mean, it's really a quick process. A lot of people use these stencils, they'll go to craft shows or things like that, and they'll create custom signs for people right there because it's so quick and people can customize them. It's a really, really cool thing that people have used to make some of their own um, stuff to sell. Yeah. So. Um that was the fish, and on this wood is poplar, is the wood that I burned on. It's also very similar. If you've worked with aspen before, these woods will burn uh, nearly identical. Um, for this next sample, I'll, I'll burn on this pine board, and I'll use one of our mini stencils so you can see how those work as well. Again, if you have questions, make sure you comment below. Also comment where you're from, we wanna hear, and we'll be giving away a few of these stencils too, so be sure to put any that you see that you really like, um, and again, where you're located. So here's a mini, and again, you'll see how fast this goes. Yep, and I'm gonna, same thing, use the screwdriver, and um, also, I didn't say this earlier, but when you're burning, you want the tip of your flame cone 
to nearly be touching the wood. You don't want to be way above it or down buried into it. Have that tip of your blue flame cone touching the wood. And Ken is asking what we use to finish this. We will go over that as well, Ken, in this video, so. A great question. Again, you can see how quickly this burns. I think an important thing too to note is how Logan is moving that screwdriver with the burn because again, it just reduces the chance of the flame going underneath and not having as clean a burn. But it is a really quick. You can see a slight difference here between the woods. Yeah, just you, you get more of the, the grain, the actual segments between the wood fibers versus the, the poplars a little smoother. We don't have any state line outlines at this time, but it is something we've had uh, a request for. So put your state below. We'll see what kind of states people would be interested in having made. Yeah, um, to, to answer that earlier question, we'll, we'll jump back to some burning, but um, we, we recommend to apply a spray finish to our to your wood burning project. So either use a lacquer, um, here's also just a matte uh, finish, I believe this is a poly, um, but you, you want to spray finish because if you brush it, the brush strokes will actually pull pieces of the charcoal off of your wood and that will get embedded in your finish. So, so you generally just, we'll do a, We'll do just a brief spray, but you just want to spray right over your finished product here. And, and I would just continue to doing that to get a good cover, but you just spray right over your piece, don't brush it. Thor is wondering if we have a US flag. Yes, we actually do. Um, we also have a made in USA stencil for people who are interested in that. Logan will go ahead and grab those. Uh, another thing is we have some military stencils. So here's a, a, an example of that. You can see on our website too all the different ones we have. We have a lot of different stencils. Again, keep commenting as you're jumping on of uh, where you're from and any of the stencils that you see that you'd be interested in so we can give away some of these too. So. I'll do one of the signs next. The, yeah, the big... that's a great idea. So we also sell the torches on our website um, as well as the butane, but you can get that almost anywhere. Um, local hardware stores, places like Walmart, Amazon, you can pretty much get those anywhere. And they're very inexpensive as well. So here's one of our larger stencils and I'll show you how quickly you can make a sign. Do we have any fishermen or women in this group? We do have wolves, um, Jasper. We, yeah. we can go back over those later too to show people that are jumping on some of the stencils again. So some of this has a little bit of a learning curve. We highly recommend that people burn a little bit on a practice piece of wood to see how your wood burns, to test moving around your screwdriver. Um, when you're lifting up the screwdriver, you want to be cautious not to move the entire stencil. Otherwise it can make it a little bit off, but um, it takes a little bit of time. And if you check out our Facebook page too, we do have some examples on there of some of the really creative projects that our customers have come up with. It's amazing. People will add it to uh, woodworking, um, like chairs or beds, or like I said, multiple people make their own signs to sell. It just adds a different touch to people's products that can make it more customized. What about camping stencils? We do have a campfire, we have a tent, and we have an ax. Um, again, check out our website for sure. I'm sure I'm forgetting things. We have so many 
new and creative stencils that we're constantly coming out with. So Daniel says he has a propane torch already. Um, one thing we, you just need to be cautious about is we recommend a small torch um, because those bigger torches can often blow out underneath the stencils. So you, you want the small ones because it allows you to get more detail without totally burning out the wood. And Logan can show you an example of even with this torch after this stencil of what happens, for instance, if you stay too long on one space or if you aren't using that screwdriver to, to burn the wood, um, what it looks like with that blowout. It's definitely not the same clean result. Okay, so, and be cautious too when you lift up the sides, the stencil can get really hot. So, I mean, look at how fast that was really the possibilities are endless as far as what you can do. Um, we do have other stencils that have text, so you could create your own, but some of these we created because it makes it just so much easier if you're doing something in bulk, for instance. Um, so I think let's have Logan just show us quickly, maybe with one of the mini stencils, what happens if you're not using the screwdriver and if you're staying too long on a certain place, kind of how it can create that blowout issue. So yeah, the key is not to get too obsessed with filling in the detail. We'll show you what happens when you do get too carried away, but you really just wanna, you gotta follow the, the flame and just don't push it. Right, and I think like Logan stated before, keeping it the right amount of distance away also makes a difference. If you're way too close, it's just gonna burn out underneath. And if you're too far away, it will take you a long time to burn and probably won't be as even. It does have a little bit of a learning curve, but amazingly, our Lumberjack customers have had really not many issues with it. I'm surprised yeah. at some of the amazing projects and the clarity that have come out of them. So here, it, it looks like we're, we're filling it in perfectly, but I, I can see up close that the flames getting underneath in certain parts and that's just because we're just we're waiting way too long but um this is just an example and again a little fire isn't bad um but you don't want to be spending so much time on one area okay so here's an example and this isn't even terrible but it shows you if you're spending that much time and the stencil starts to heat up like that that it can go underneath now for some people that's a nice effect that they they might like you know to add a little more dimension to the stencil but it's just something that you can play with as you use the stencils and see kind of what you want to do with them um, if you're just jumping on make sure you're commenting where you're from and any stencils that you see that you like because we will be doing a giveaway um, after this is over. Yeah. Um, for the gentleman who asked about wolves earlier, here. Yep, there's two of the wolves that we have. Um, and then I think we'll have Logan quickly show us too some of our text yeah. stencils so you can see so we have three different sizes of texts. Um, we have the three quarter inch, we have a one and a half inch, and then we also have, um, what is this, one and a half? Three inch, three, it's, yep. it's the three inch, sorry. Yep. Um, so we have, these come with all the letters of the alphabet and uh, numbers as well. Um, the big ones don't come with these shields, but the smaller ones do. So Logan will show you that too. But they all come with these registration marks, which again, Logan will show you a little bit more about that. We really tried to think of what's going to be the easiest way for people to line this up and get straight lines and consistent uh, gaps between the letters to make things look professional, especially for people who would want to sell something potentially that they make with these. Yeah, and uh, this also I forgot, we also have uh, the um, like apostrophes and uh, all the extras just besides the letters, there's extra symbols as well that we offer. Right. Daniel's wondering if we could do a dragonfly stencil before we finish. Uh, yeah, we can do one. Uh, 
So let's focus on this text first and then we can get around to definitely some of those um, suggestions that people have. So we're gonna try, there, there's a, a spring theme stencil our office wants us to make. So we're gonna do a, a quick demonstration with the text and finish that. So I, so to start your letter, you want to make sure the, the whole thing, you're, whatever you're spelling with the text, if you don't start off straight, your whole line of text is going to be crooked. So you really want to make sure when you start with that first letter that you have it lined up square. Um, Scott is wondering, what gauge metal are the stencils? I, I believe it's a 14 gauge, Scott. If, if that's not correct, uh, please check our website. It should be listed. Yes. Yep, again, our website will have a lot of information on this. Uh, Mike, we do have a moose. We have really a ton of different stencils for everybody, just depending on what you're interested in getting into. Um, these are pretty unique because they are patent pending. They're something that we, um, the, the burn part of it is different from other stencils. Um, so, uh, so now just uh, quickly here, uh, we're going to use this registration mark to, to begin forming our text. So the first word we're making is no. And now I, I used that registration mark and I'm going to get proper spacing. And our manuals for these two come with really, really good instructions um, that show you exactly how to get everything aligned properly to make sure that you do have a s straight words or sentence. Uh, we don't have any police things right now, but we've had a lot of requests for that, as well as firefighters, EMTs. It's something that we have on our list of things to do. So if anybody has ideas of things they'd like to see, please uh, comment and we can look into adding those to our list. Um, let's see, someone else asked, how long do these stencils last? I as, as long as you don't bend it, they should last a lifetime. You just want to make sure if you're doing a lot of projects in a row that you're allowing these stencils to cool a little bit in between because when they do heat up, it can cause them to bend up a little bit. Yep, yep. You, you want to give it a break as the metal, metal is going to start to heat up and expand. So the nice thing about these shields is you don't have to worry about burning over into the next letter right next to it. It just protects that for you. Yep. And the reason we don't have a shield for the larger text is because um, we, we determined through testing that the text is large enough and spaced out well enough that the shield just isn't necessary. So Ken said probably not armed forces because of trademark issues, right? I, I, I think like certain logos, Ken, with the armed forces, we can't copy because you're correct because of trademark, but we can use like the, the words of the, the different branches. Right. That... So we do have all of the military branches. Um, it's just the text and it's kind of in a military font. But again, because of trademark issues, we are limited as far as the logos and we want to absolutely respect that. For everybody new jumping on, please comment where you're watching from and anything that you see on here that you'd be interested in as far as stencils because we will be giving away a couple after we're done with this. And for those who weren't here in the beginning, we'll walk through the stencils again at the end to show kind of what we have available. Otherwise, you can check out our website in the meantime as well and see anything on there that you might be interested in because we have a lot of different stencils available. Yeah. We're almost done with our sign here and we can test out some more stuff. So I don't, I don't know if any of you watching have gardens, but the purpose of this sign, we're, we're making a sign that says no bunnies because 
For those of you who know, rabbits can wreak, wreak havoc in one's garden. Right. Yeah, we'd love to hear if there are any gardeners watching this um, because we also have a staking tool that we'll be doing a demonstration on probably for our next live. So it would be interested, interesting to know people that do gardening that are in our, in our following base. Yeah. So here with our inch and a half text, we've created no bunnies and I'll get our bunny stencil here shortly and we'll quick burn the rabbit. Again, this is a great example of how you can make custom signs. Um, we have had a couple customers who go to craft shows and they bring these stencils and allow customers, sometimes they'll have a couple up for just demonstration, but then they allow customers to choose what they want on it and they'll just make it for them right there, which is really neat to see. You can make your money back from one of these stencils really quickly. Okay, so here's our bunny stencil, which is actually new. I, uh, Daniel said we'll have to teach the bunnies how to read. <laughs> yep, that, yeah. <laughs> you let me know when you figure out how to do that. All right, so here we go. Um, as you can see, again, Logan isn't spending a huge amount of time on each single part. You want to go fairly quickly so that you're not burning underneath the stencil. Um, and for those who didn't see before, those flames are really normal. You don't obviously want to start the whole board on fire, but they typically will just go out by themselves. It's just because that torch is so close to that wood. And certain woods will burn more yep. than others as well. So again, that's why we highly recommend just testing out some of these ahead of time just on your wood so that you just understand how that wood is going to burn and can practice burning the stencil. So there you go. There's a sign super quick. Logan made this in what, less than 10 minutes for sure. Yep. Um, but it just shows you some of the possibilities of what you can do by combining text and some of our other uh, stencils. Yeah. Did anybody have any questions on any of this while we have it out here? Because again, we wanna make sure that we're answering people's questions. Yep, I can quick show you just the model torch that we use. You fill it in with your can of butane right, right in the bottom. And again, the butane and the torch itself are very inexpensive. And how long do you think, how many burns do you think the, the butane typically will last for? Uh, a can like this, I, I, you could probably burn well over 100 pieces. I'd, I'd say probably 150 pieces um, before you'd need a new can. And then um, we'll repost this video as well, but for those that are just joining, Logan also went over some of the things that we use to finish these products so that they don't um, smudge. But I think what we're gonna do now is go back through our stencils for those who didn't see in the beginning. Um, and if you are interested in being entered to win one of these, just comment below where you're from and anything that you see that is interesting. Um, so here's a hummingbird. These are more of our spring stencils that we have here. Um, we also have minis over here. So we have quite a few minis. Uh, let's see, some of uh, these are Christmas ones, so you can just ignore those. But we try to make holiday ones as well, so people who are really into doing things for specific holidays have those. Uh, we have mini fish, we have mini crosses, we have uh, some of our rustic ones that yeah. are mini. It's really neat. Like I said, just check out our Facebook page as well to see some of the things that people have burned. It's, it's really cool. We've seen people take the um, bear paws and put those on their deck to make it look like a bear walked across it. Uh, we've seen people put these things on their chairs or uh, cabinets or dressers. It's really neat to see. Oh, here's a seahorse. So some of these are going to be more spring oriented because obviously we're coming up upon springtime. Frog. There's a frog, yep. 
And again, if you see anything that, oh, oh, here's the dragonfly. We fly. can we can burn that quick too at the end. Yeah, maybe. we'll pull oh. that out for the one customer who asked to see that. Um, yeah. Let's see. Couple stars. So you can create a variety of different projects. I'm interested to hear too from all of you different things that you could see burning these on, if there's anything that you, you could see yourself using these for, because, you know, we're creative, but we're only so creative. <laughs> Canoe. All right, let's see, let's move over here. I think that there's, okay, these, I, I believe someone asked too, so we have a bunch of different leaves. Um, someone asked about the tent. Oh, oh okay, yes, so yep. we have the tent. And then we have a lantern and a campfire. Yep. Really a ton of different things. Um, all right, and then this is the big wall of even more stencils. I'll have Logan pull down one of the military ones so that people can see exactly what we're talking about. Um, Jean, you can go to lumberjacktools.com and you can find all of our stuff there. But if you see something that you really like on here, just comment below and you can be entered to win one of these too. So, yeah. so we have Army, Air Force, Marines, Navy, and Coast Guard for all of these. And this is just that military type text so that we're not infringing on any logos or anything like that. Um, but basically just, I'll just pan over super quick. We have a ton of different stencils from rustic to, uh, Western to boho to sea life. There's a lot of different things just depending on where you are, um, and what you're interested in. Farm animals are popular. We have stuff for people that do things for weddings. And again, these are our bigger stencils then too. Yeah. We also have cutouts available on our website. Um, that's, we, we're still kind of fine tuning this exactly how they're, they're gonna go out, but, but please check on our website and uh, they're, they're very affordable. Um, kind of leave it up to your imagination, whatever you want to do with it. You could make ornaments, you could, if you knew somebody with some fab skills, you could make a wind chime. There, there's a lot of really creative ideas and these are super cheap. Um, somebody asked an alien stencil. We do not have an alien stencil. Another popular thing we've been asked for is um, a Sasquatch, which we don't have yet either. But we do listen to all of the comments that we get. So if a bunch of people are interested in something, we typically do create it. So these are just a few things that uh, we created that show you some of the things that you can make with these. So like this is a tray that has two handles on it. Um, this is something to hang your dog leashes. We have a... Um, Pet. Food dish food, holder. Yeah, food dish holder. Uh, a she shed. We have this. Uh, Bottle opener. Right, so instead of beer 30, it says bear 30. We have a little stool here, if you have little ones. Um, and then this is like a silverware or napkin holder. But there's a lot of different things you can make. Um, we do have cows, chickens, and horse stencils, yes. Um, I think we'll have Logan find the Great. dragonfly and we'll burn that as our final burn example. Right, finding, if you collect a lot of these stencils, maybe you'll have them more organized. But one thing we also create is these little hangers at the top of the stencil so that you can hang them up to make them a little more organized as well. Yeah. So let's, uh, we'll burn this on the, our last sample is uh, just a piece of plywood. We'll burn right on the plywood. 
We don't have a German Shepherd at this time. It's hard to ch for dogs because that's why we only have a bone and a paw print so far. Because there's so many different breeds, it's hard to know what, what to make to make everybody happy, right? So it's those little pieces of the stencil that you want to be holding down because those are the things that when they get heated up, it's easy for the flame to go underneath. Yeah, just slow, controlled movements. You don't want to fan it back and forth. Um, Edward, if you go to lumberjacktools.com, you can see all of these items and their pricing. Otherwise, you can call us as well, and we'd be happy to help you. So you can see how quick that was. That actually burned pretty well on the plywood, actually. Yeah. So. Yeah, this is just a standard piece of plywood. All right, awesome. Well, I think we'll leave it at that. Um, we'll give everybody about five additional minutes, five, ten additional minutes after we finish the video for you to comment. Uh, where you're from and any stencils that you're interested in, and then we will draw a couple people for the giveaway. Um, thank you so much, and you have a great weekend.